Twisters is a 2024 disaster film directed by Lee Isaac Chung with a screenplay by Mark L. Smith and a story from Joseph Kaczynski. This is produced by Frank Marshall and Steven Spielberg and is a standalone sequel to the 1996 disaster film summer hit Twister which starred Bill Paxton and Helen Hunt and was directed by Jan de Bont. This film cost $155 million to $200 million and runs for 122 minutes long. The original film cost between $85 to $92 million and grossed a total of $500 million worldwide at the box office. In this film, it stars Daisy Edgar Jones as Kate Cooper, Glenn Powell as Tyler Owens, and Anthony Ramos as Javi. Now, the film starts off, we see Kate Cooper, who is a college student working in Oklahoma with a team of her fellage fellow college storm chasers, including Javi, Addy, Proveen, and her boyfriend, Jeb. Uh, disaster strikes, she loses her team, and we fast forward five years later. We see that she works at the National Weather Center in New York City, and we see that Javi, played by Anthony Ramos, contacts her to join his team in order to figure out and kind of, you know, get a three-dimensional look at tornadoes or twisters for that matter they also run into tyler owens who is a famous storm chaser on the internet who has a youtube channel has a big following close to a million plus followers he's played by glenn powell now for this film being close to two hours and two minutes long it doesn't feel like that at all it has good action sequences but it just doesn't feel the dynamic of what the original had between Bill Paxton and Helen Hunt. That film was absolutely mind-blowing, and the CGI and the special effects for that film were absolutely bar none the best of the 90s. And with this, it was good and it was okay, but it was just overdone to a point where there were music spots in it where it shouldn't have been included it just took away from the atmosphere of what the story and the movie should be i mean glenn powell as uh tyler owens is really really good by playing that annoying egotistical bastard but deep down he does have a heart of gold and if you if tom cruise and ryan gosling had a child it would be Glenn Powell because he's that charismatic in anything he does. And we saw that with Top Gun Maverick. Now, we find out that Kate Cooper is still having trauma and anxiety from the events at the beginning of the movie where she lost her team. Not only that, she's also a meteorologist and, like I said, a former storm chaser. But she thinks that she can get things going. And then when she opens up to Tyler about the aspect of how to live with the guilt of losing her friends, her boyfriend, and trying to figure things out, Tyler helps her in the end to f figure things out. There are sequences in this movie that are very reminiscent to the first film. And by the first film, I mean at the drive-in theater in the first movie, you see that big F5 tornado happening in the distance when the lightning strikes, and the only way you can see it is by the lightning and the thunder. That happens in this where they're at a rodeo and it just everything just comes together the action I wanted a little bit more not only that you have David Cornswet plays Scott Javi's business partner David Cornswet is going to be the new Superman in James Gunn's Superman that character is very reminiscent of the character that Carrie Elways played in the first film, Jonas Miller. You can see the similarities, the dynamics, but we see that Javi is working for Stormpar, and the reason he works with Stormpar is because he needed for his startup. He, you know, goes with Marshall Riggs, who goes around basically buying land from people who have been devastated and making money from that. Kate doesn't like that at all. She sees that, and then Javi and Kate have a back and forth argument, and it ends like that. The dynamic of the team that Tyler has is very, very good, and it's just quick, sarcastic, and fun. But the film, while the action sequences were good, and the whole chemistry was good, it just didn't feel, like I said, cohesive enough to drive the force of the chemistry between Daisy Edgar Jones and what Glenn Powell had to offer. Anthony Ramos, I feel like, was just a side note and a secondary character, even though he was supporting as well. 
but we needed that supporting aspect to where you have the Helen Hunt role in Daisy Edgar Jones, Bill Paxton role in Glenn Powell, the uh, Carrie Elway's character in David Corswet, and Anthony Ramos, I feel like, played that side character of playing Bill Paxton's wife in the first one, who was played by Jamie Gertz. So it goes on and shows that Lee Isaac Chung directed a great movie. The aspects and the surprises and how our cars driving into twisters and you know, the whole aspect of Twisters being what it is, is great. This has, this is not a reboot, it's not a requel, it's a standalone sequel where it's a sequel to the first one, but it just doesn't mention the first movie at all. When the entire time was happening, I was hoping Kate's mother was going to be Helen Hunt, or if that wasn't the case, then Tyler Owens's mother was going to be Helen Hunt. Somehow the dynamic of connecting the first and this movie would have been good, while it's there and it feels like it's going to work, if you call it Twisters, give us more. Just don't show two Twisters in the aspect of having two Twisters in a movie or a tornado for that matter. But the ending, in a way, should have been two F5s and them trying to figure out how to destabilize it. Uh, the only connection to the first film is the Dorothy Doppler that Helen Hunt wants to get close to the first in the first movie. This does make an appearance in that in Dorothy 5, but then the whole aspect is just there. This is a fun summer blockbuster movie, but it's going to be in a way where, okay, if it makes money, we'll probably get a third film, but do we really need a third Twister movie? And what could you call it? Twister 3? Or Twister, like, I, I mean, we're on par where Hollywood is using the alien effect. And what I mean by that is Ridley Scott's film, Alien, was called Aliens. And then the sequel was called Aliens, directed by James Cameron. So this is going off of that. Twister, Twisters. You know what I'm talking... That's how I'm going to, you know, similarize it. But um, Daisy Edgar Jones has a great career in Hollywood. And you can see that. She's very young. She's in her 20s. She's going to get a lot of movie roles. Glenn Powell is on the up and up. And you see that. He's very charismatic. He's very sweet, has that emotional aspect to it. He can play the nice guy, he can play the badass. He can probably even play the jerk, which he did in this. But I just needed more from everyone. And I'm curious to see where Lee Isaac Chung goes on to next to direct. Because he directed a phenomenal movie with Minari. And now it's this. This is his biggest blockbuster that he's undertaken. I'm very curious to see how everything happens. And I hopefully this movie does good at the box office and word of mouth gets it going. See it on the biggest screen you can possible because a film like this, the, with this dynamic, the special effects, really, really deserves that time of two hours sitting in front of an IMAX screen to watch it and enjoy it. It's a great popcorn movie. If you love the first one for just being the twister aspect and the action and the camaraderie, and then you'll love this one, but minus the characterization not being fleshed out enough and just focusing on certain things and certain aspects of how the characters could have intertwined, could have worked, maybe somehow connected to the first film starring Helen Hunt and Bill Paxton. But instead of just giving us Dorothy 5 Doppler, I mean, that was it. But then you see the character of Kate trying to overcome her fears. And she does that in a very badass way in the end, which is very, very good to see. For me, Twisters gets four out of five stars. Let me know in the comment section below what you thought about Twisters, directed by Lee Isaac Chung and starring Daisy Edgar Jones, Glenn Powell, and Anthony Ramos. Did you like it? Did you not like it? What did you think of it? What did you think about the aspect of the story? Did you like that it was a standalone sequel from the first film, Twister, from 1996? Do you think that they could have connected it a little bit better? Or do you think they should have connected it? Did you like the action sequences? Do you think the CGI was better back then? Or is it better now? And what did you like? What didn't you like? Who was your favorite character? Who was your least favorite character? Let me know in the comment section below about all of the questions I just asked. I'm Mr. Filmstock. Thanks so much for tuning into my review of Twisters. And I'll see you all in the next review video.